Hey, watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the new Tag Heuer Quartz Chronograph Formula One. So if you are following along your new releases, this came out a couple months now, six months. I, I don't think it's been quite that long. I'd have to go back. I'm, I'm really not sure, but it's been out for a little bit while. Relatively new. First one we have in stock. Uh, this is obviously the bright yellow. There's also a red and a green model that were released. And I uh, wanted just to... Kind of go over this one quick since it's the first one we have in stock. Case dimensions. Above the top pusher here, diagonally across, I measured at 43.8 millimeters. 43 millimeters straight across this PVD fixed bezel. 33 millimeters straight across the sapphire crystal. We do have a very nice sunbrushed or sunburst yellow dial. Matches the strap well. 12.6 millimeter case thickness, 48.4 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. Rubber strap does not come straight down, so I did measure the widest part there at 54 millimeters. However, it is fairly low at that 54 millimeters. So when I show, the, I'll put this on wrist, I'll show you how it wears. Um, I do think if you have, again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. I think it'll wear fine on my wrist. Um, a little smaller than that. Um, I'm probably looking at a, a different strap for uh, for your wrist. Uh, 21 and a half millimeter lug width again don't love the half millimeter uh, but 21 and a half millimeters tapering down to 20 at the tag hoyer style pin buckle here signed screw down crown 200 meters of water resistance solid stainless steel case back again quartz chronograph movement weighed this one at 122.4 grams and it retails for 1850 So there are the specs on this one. Hit the chrono. Your 3 o'clock subdial is your constantly running small second subdial. You have a one-tenth of a second indicator here. So every time that goes around, that's one second. So one-tenth of a second here at the 6 o'clock position. And you have a 30-minute counter here in your 9 or 10 o'clock position. stops reset so overall again I, I think it's a classic formula one it's of different colors i do like the updated dial i'll throw it on wrist again i have a six and three quarter inch wrist and the one thing i will point out on this strap i, I do wear my watches fairly tight but I will point out, I am on the last hole on this rubber strap. So if you have a smaller than six and three quarter inch wrist, this strap's probably gonna be too large for you. Additionally, I'm gonna move that second rubber keeper out because it is a little bit long. I like the texture to the strap. I think it looks good. So again, that 54 measurement, normally I would feel like it'd be too much, but this really fits. Sometimes when the rubber straps kind of stick out or don't come straight down or articulate well, that'll almost leave a gap where you can have space. Not really having too much of that here on my wrist, on my hands, completely straight. So um, I'd be comfortable. I'd be okay wearing this. Again, smaller wrist, it might be a little bit different for you, but overall, I think it looks great. So let me hit the lights here quick. As always, greatly appreciate you viewing. Let me know what you think of this new Tag Heuer Formula One Quartz Chronograph. If there's anything I can do for you, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com, and we'll see you in the next video.